Welcome back. Just want to point out that the market, the mid-cap index is actually under a bit of pressure, down about 26 odd points. A lot of stocks are seeing uh, result reactions. SBI card is down 5%. Tala Chemicals is down about 4% or so. Gokul Das Exports, after very strong commentary from the management, is up 7.5% right now. And the big stock in the broader markets is Nika, which is now uh, well below its IPO price. And now the stock is down 53% in 2022, so cracking hard this morning. But Century Textiles is the next corporate that we're tracking after Q2 earnings. While the paper and the pulp segment look strong with the 40% revenue growth, the textile revenue has dipped 14% versus last year. Snehal Shah, who's the CFO of Century Textiles and Industries, joins us now to talk about that. Uh, Snehal, thanks a lot for joining in. I want to, uh, you know, start by asking you about the textile business itself, where there has been a bit of a slowdown year on year. The business is down about in double digits, 14%. Uh, what is the expectation from a run rate of around 200 to 50 crores in the textile business? What can you do in the second half of the year? So uh, our textile business is, you know, divided into two parts. One is the domestic apparel business. If you see our turnover actually from last year has gone up in the domestic uh, apparel business. But uh, uh, what has hit us on the revenue side is the export market, particularly to we export mostly the home linen to uh, US and the uh, Europe, European markets. And considering the slowdown over there and, you know, the inflation, et cetera, I think the end users are more focused on uh, other um, necessities of their lives. Uh, so there is a bit of slowdown over there, and uh, that is what is actually hitting us. We are expecting some uptake over there uh, post uh, Christmas. Uh, that is in Q4. Maybe we'll see some uh, sub increase. But uh, considering uh, increase in uh, uh, the domestic market, we more or less will be able to manage the revenues. Uh, in terms of last year for the entire year. That's what we look forward and we are more focusing on ensuring that, you know, we are cash positive at least and not negative in the textile business. Okay. Uh, time permitting, we'll come back to the textile business. Uh, can you give us a little more color on the one that is sticking well for you, the paper business? Uh, uh, you know, can you, what have been the net, net realizations in the current uh, quarter itself, the quarter gone by? And how is it likely to fare in the second half? Will you maintain this kind of a cutting-edge performance? So, uh, I think the cutting-edge performance that you've seen has come as part of two things. One is uh, certainly the increase in margin, uh, uh, and the difference between the realization and the uh, input prices. Uh, but we've also actually working on a lot of efficiencies and uh, uh, particularly on saving a lot of money on chemicals and packaging. We've almost uh, so saved about 20 odd crores in this uh, half year itself. So that is one part. As far as the realization goes, we expect that the paper and the tissue market to remain firm. Uh, there would be a little bit of a cutback we expect in the uh, next quarter on the packaging board but we certainly don't expect the margins to be impacted uh, due to the cutbacks. All right. Uh, hi, Mr. Shah. You know, the last time when you joined us, you told us that your margins will be headed towards the mid-teens, around 15% odd, and that seems to be the case. Do you hold on to that? Can you do better from year as well? And I think for the year, you were getting for more or less flattish top-line number. Paper, I think, was you were talking about... Yeah, see, uh, top-line number... Uh, uh, See, right now we are doing much better in the in terms of the run rate, but that's not because of volumes, but it is more because of the realization rate. And if the realization rate holds up uh, in the next uh, two quarters, then probably we'll overshoot our uh, revenue figures. But in terms of volumes, probably we'll be uh, more or less uh, maintaining the same as last year. Okay, how uh, in terms of margin, yes, we expect particularly the paper business to maintain a 20 plus margin okay. mm. and therefore on a overall basis we expect to maintain a more than 15 percent margin okay the uh, real estate business is a very small portion right now but investors are you know sort of expecting that to be scaled up uh, you saw about 560 crores of booking in q2 uh, with a big contribution from your uh, niara project in Verli. I wanted to know what could the average booking numbers be for the rest of the fiscal and how much could you grow that business? So, uh, yes. Um, so we have actually done close to 1,000 crores for the half year so far. Hmm. And we expect to more or less meet uh, last year's booking value considering the launches that we already, we don't, 
have any new launches planned now going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, so from the current launches, et cetera, you know, probably we'll get another thousand crores, which would more or less uh, be in line with the last year's uh, uh, booking value. Uh, the major growth we are expecting is going to be in the next year because we've signed up a couple of uh, deals right now in this particular year. And those probably would be, you know, uh, launched in the next year. So next year, probably we'll see a lot of jump in our uh, booking value numbers. Right now, we are focusing, we are two projects are in completion stage. So we're focusing on two aspects. One is on uh, uh, <clears throat> signing more deals. And number two is ensuring that, you know, we complete our projects on time. We are already almost six months ahead of uh, era schedule in all our projects. How is the demand for paper? After all, uh, we are seeing a slowdown in several sec FMCG sectors, which could be people who are buying uh, your packaging material, your paper as Absolutely. packaging material. And separately, right. you know, this ban on single-use uh, 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 plastics, what's the impact? So single-use plastic, essentially, uh, the, this particular ban is actually helping us mostly in our tableware uh, uh, section where you know we are using bagasse based uh, you know uh, uh, material uh, which is now you know uh, uh, doing a lot of work for a uh, lot of business for us uh, i don't see uh, right now it is you know uh, really we are not really seeing the impact uh, we have to wait and see how it works out because the ban finally also has to be implemented and once we see a lot of implementation, then the substitution uh, should happen. Uh, so that is one part. And I think you're right in terms of a little bit of a, a subduedness is happening in the pharma sector, et cetera. That is why we are probably uh, expecting a cutback in the packaging board in the uh, next quarter. All right. Uh, very simple question, Mr. Shah. Your businesses seem to be doing well individually. Why have them together? Why don't you just split it up, list it separately? Your shareholders as well will be happy. Those that want the paper will go for paper, textile and real estate. Uh, give me a reasoning why it shouldn't happen. Or is it on the cards? Say in the next couple of years, there is a roadmap. So it's not, uh, uh, this is a good question which keeps on coming up every uh, discussion that I have, whether it is an investor or uh, uh, yourselves. So we have to understand that, uh, you know, the... Uh, I mean, the textile business is kind of a legacy business for us. And, you know, when, um, it, to be very honest, uh, if it does well, it gives us a 50 odd crores of uh, free cash flows. And if it doesn't do well, okay, we kind of lose the, the, that kind of money. But the more important is the cash cow, which is a paper business. And that cash cow gives us uh, anywhere between 300 to 400 crores free cash flow uh, every year which is extremely helpful for us, you know, to uh, uh, finance at least a substantial part of our real estate growth. And it therefore makes sense right at the moment that, you know, we keep it particularly, we just kind of allocate about uh, 150 crores uh, uh, cash for the paper business for its whatever cap capex. And post that, we have our, another 300 crores, which we use for our real estate business. So we are kind of leveraged our balance sheet in a proper manner. Okay. We are expect we are just new in the real estate business. So we are right now, you know, guzzling cash. Yeah. And uh, hopefully in a couple of years, uh, real estate business will stand on its own with its own cash flows. And probably that would be the right time when we should start thinking about all this uh, uh, mergers and demergers. All right, you heard it, uh, Mr. Shah. We keep asking about it. You said the investor community as well uh, ask about it. Maybe at a later date, it could possibly be on the cards. It's been good speaking to you. Thanks so much for stopping by and filling us in with insights into what went on in the past quarter and your outlook going ahead as well.